Again. Again. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. My name is Hannah and I'm an author from the southeast of England. On this channel I make videos about writing, reading, researching, marketing, so if that sounds like something that is your cup of tea please do consider subscribing. Before we get started um, I just wanted to remind everyone in my description um, I've left some links to open UK and US petitions for the BLM movement so please do take a look at those. Again if you're not in a position where you can financially help or donate to any causes at the minute I'll also leave a link to Zoe and Mira's video so you can just leave that uh, running just watch it and watch all the adverts and then the AdSense is going to various BLM charities. Okay, this one has been a long time coming. I have started my whip one road in again. This will actually be time number three, I think. Yeah, this is the third time for starting again. But in all honesty, this time I feel really good about it. I feel like the changes I've made were the right ones and I feel refreshed and energized and I, I think this is the right move. So I started the first first. The first first draft of One Road In um, at the beginning of NaNoWriMo last year. I wrote just over 50,000 words during NaNoWriMo and yeah at the time I felt like what I was doing was really good. I was really motivated. I exceeded the goal that I set for myself and I, I thought at the time that I was really onto something but by the end of NaNoWriMo I felt really demotivated I didn't like the direction that One Road In was going in and I didn't really know how to unpick everything and pull it back to the vision I originally had. Come the end of NaNoWriMo, I kind of didn't even want to read what I'd written. I'd pretty much become obsessed with just getting the word count and I had just sort of lost the essence of what I was aiming for and the theme I was aiming for and it all just sort of started to unravel. Um, so it took a couple of months actually following Nano for me to convince myself to even read what I'd written. I was so worried it was just the worst thing I'd ever created that I did probably the stupidest thing possible and just shut the file on my laptop and didn't open it until January. So in January I read through what I'd done. The first half was okay but it felt like it was lacking something and not lacking something that you can kind of add in in editing. It, it really felt like it was lacking something really major. Um, and then by the time I got onto the second half, so the back 25,000 words that I've written, it literally all just fell apart. So for One Road In, during NaNoWriMo, I did plan um, using the Save the Cat method. I still think it's a great method. Um, I learned a lot from reading the book. I know there are differing views on it. Lots of people absolutely love it. Some people think it's way over height. That's fine, you're gonna get that with whatever the book is. Um, but I think I had fallen down the trap of over planning, if that's a thing. I'd so meticulously planned out every character arc and every direction of everything I wanted that I think I'd taken the joy out of actually writing it and just Kind of writing to see where things ended up um, and I think that I could feel and kind of see it when I read it back. I could feel that I wasn't enjoying writing it therefore I could never expect anyone to enjoy reading it. So at the end of January after I had convinced myself to actually read it and scrawled over the thing with so much red pen that you couldn't really see the original words anymore I decided to start again. This is starting again number one. <laughs> This one was a bit of a full start, to be honest. I started again and then within a week I was just bored of it. I didn't like the idea anymore, I couldn't get back to the original excitement of the idea, so I shelved it again. Uh, middle of February I essentially did exactly the same thing again. Um, I tried this little method um, that we have sort of used before on other projects um, where you go through your writing with different colour pens. I had like red for things I wanted to change, green for things I actually really liked, so there were some pros and things I really liked, and blue for things that I thought had potential but I needed to work on more. So I did that with the whole 50,000 words again um, and got to the end and I just didn't have the motivation to, to even start again. So actually that one doesn't even really count as a starting again. I tried to start again, I kind of admitted that I'd lost the kind of excitement for the project uh, and ended up writing a couple of short stories instead. So cue the middle of May I think. I had a bit of an idea so I was thinking about One Road In again <laughs> and I was thinking how the original concept it just it, it is really something that when I first thought of it I was like that is a book I want to read and it doesn't exist therefore I should write it. 
for anyone that hasn't seen the original videos I made when I came up with the idea, essentially a girl's brother goes missing. She knows a lot more about him going missing than she lets on. Um, and she essentially lets it go. So she lets him go missing, I suppose, and she lives with it for the next five years. Um, and then he shows up again. There's a lot more to it than that. That's essentially it though. Um, there's some supernatural stuff like a good witch, this kind of thing. I really liked the idea and I felt like it really nicely crossed over thriller and horror to like, literally my two favourite genres. Um, and I was just desperately trying to think of ways that I could reinvigorate this project. So I went all the way back to the beginning and sort of came at it from a different angle. I thought I would start with some more research. So for NaNoWriMo, I, though I'd plan out the bones of the story, I didn't really have any research, so on like missing persons procedures, um, on folklore, anything like that, I didn't have a great deal of research, so I did that, so I flipped it around and started with the research. The first thing I did was find someone <laughs> in the missing persons team that I could talk to. I'm quite lucky, my uncle used to work uh, in the force um, in Wales, so he knew someone I could talk to. So I spoke to this missing persons coordinator, and the first thing he said was what I wanted to do, even though it is horror, so you can kind of bend what's likely to happen and what's realistic, the chances of a young person going and staying missing for five years, when we're surrounded by social media, when we've got a really tied up uh, police force that can sort of contact someone the other end of the country to have someone arrested within minutes, it's just so unlikely. That it just it just wouldn't happen. So his advice to me straight off the bat was to consider moving the story from uh, oh, today, 2020, and pushing it right back to the late 80s and early 90s. The second he said that, it just sort of fell into place. It sounds really corny, but it pretty much did. Um, so I went off and I did loads of research on sort of life in the late 80s and early 90s. Um, I was there for some of it, but at most I was four, so I don't remember any of it. Just spurred all of these new ideas and coming at it from that angle has just invigorated it completely. It's a different story now. I'm three chapters in, which is only around 10,000 words, um, but it's moving a lot quicker than even when I was doing NaNoWriMo and I feel really good about it again. So I guess the moral of this story, if there is to be one, is that it is totally okay to start again. If what you're working on really doesn't feel right and a really like deep doesn't feel right, then start it again, it doesn't matter. However, definitely don't delete anything because everything will come in handy. Do not ever delete any words. So that's that really, I've started again, <laughs> again. Um, but this time around it, it feels a lot better, so much better, I've got more energy, I'm really excited by the concept again. And yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm also planning, no, I am not planning, I am going to do a Camp Nano. I've never done a camp before. Um, last November was actually the first nano I did and I think I burnt out on it, but I think that I accept responsibility for that. Um, nano is so good for so many people that I just think I need to find a way of making it work better for me. Um, so I'm going to use Camp Nano to kind of experiment with some goals. I'm going to do a video on goal setting um, a little bit closer to July. And basically, yeah, I want to have a look at how I'm going to set myself goals. I don't want them to literally just be word count. <laughs> just go for the words. I think it needs to be different for me. I just need to work out what that looks like. So that's that. I've started again. Um, I've got loads more energy. I am hopefully going to have the first draft of this thing finished by the end of Camp Nano. And to help me get to the end of Camp Nano and hopefully have the end of a first draft, um, I'm going to start doing some live streams. So every Tuesday at 1pm GMT plus one, um, I'll do a live stream for a couple of hours that will be focused on sprinting and writing. Um, so yeah, I hope to see some of you guys there. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please do like it and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks. See you next week.